of the employee for a possible disciplinary action if the official finds discipline warranted. Also, the interpretation that a reasonable person in the circumstances would apply shall be used in interpreting and enforcing this code of ethics. When a violation of this code of ethics also constitutes a violation of a personnel policy or a civil service policy, the violation shall be dealt with as a violation of the personnel <coughs> or civil service provision rather than a violation of this code of ethics. That being said, Mr. Marshall's office, Rebecca Owens, and the HR department are currently handling this complaint. So it is in my opinion that we do not need to continue with this hearing. <laughs> something called 
said all of that, as a board member, this is not in my wheelhouse to be listening to. This is outside of the statutory law, and I will not break the law. So it is my recommendation that this complaint go back to bank it in proper posture by being in the HR department underneath the superintendent until we as a board get a report according to law. That report is the segue into the board getting involved. So ethics committee, it is my motion that we do not hear this. It goes back to the superintendent and that we follow the law, whether we like it or not, on either side, we must be law-abiding citizens. That's all I have to say. Ms. Carter. Really don't have much to add. Um, Dr. Myers and Ms. Lennon covered most of the points that I had um, outlined to make. The only thing that I think that I would add is that in 5.6, Zero, zero, which is the policy under which this complaint was filed, um, that although it does, uh, it, you know, list some information about, you know, disciplinary policy, etc., it says um, teachers may be disciplined following due process. Due process means that where there is a process, the process must be followed. This is not the process. So it, the, the proper process must be followed in this case. Um, the ethics committee has no statutory authority to undertake anything in this situation. Picture will say it all. <laughs> yeah, I've got a picture. Go through the process and you feel good about that. Yes. What do you think of all the students out here tonight? Very good. Thank you. Okay. Thanks. All right. So, what do you? Why were you here? To support Jamie Johnson. Okay. Because. I don't know all the details, but even if she did make a mistake, for a long time I taught inclusion in her classroom, so I know better than a lot of people. She's a good teacher. We don't have enough teachers in Wilson County, and they sure don't have time for this. 